In Bangladesh, climate change and flooding result in increased dropout rates. So one project is turning traditional boats into floating schools to ensure educational services for underprivileged people living on the waters. In this report, we look at one of these schools. Bangladesh is one of the world's most densely populated countries and many people there live on less than $2 a day. Because of monsoon flooding, dropout rates from primary schools are nearly half, although enrolment rates are over 90%. To tackle the problem, one NGO is taking classrooms to their pupils in the shape of traditional boats. <laughs> Most of the inhabitants of our village are illiterate and poor. They can't afford to buy the books and stationery needed for their children's education. We give these free to the children in our boat school. Also, we give a good quality education here. Our school floats on the river. In monsoon, other schools go underwater, but not ours. I like the boat school because there's only 30 pupils. It's like studying in a private school. Eight-year-old Ila goes to a boat school because there's no other school nearby. The boat school even collects her in the morning. Her favourite activities are poetry, singing and using the computer. We have computers in our school. They teach us how to use them and show us cartoons. We can do drawing in our class. In the rainy season, trees and courtyards of houses go underwater. The boat school doesn't sink. This is why the boat school is good. I want to be a teacher after completing my studies. Ela's father is a seasonal carpenter and farmer and he thinks the boat school is a great opportunity for Ela because it's free and it's safe. When her brother is old enough, he'll go to school too. The idea is that if the children cannot come to school because of flooding uh, and lack of transportation, then um, uh, why don't we bring school to them? There are millions of people living along the riverside areas, not only in Bangladesh, in other de developing countries. And our project has the potential to reach all the target groups. There are so many components, aspects of our project, which can be replicated, scaled up, to fulfill the education in, and information need of all these communities. The NGO also runs floating libraries, offering around 1,500 books, as well as access to telephones and the internet. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.